Alright guys, we are back within Monster Jam Steel Titans here today once again for another banger video. Starting things off. Oh, can we bring it back onto four wheels? Starting things off with a crazy old donut there. We're gonna jump on in to the career mode today. I figured I would start things off with this gnarly old jump. Oh, we caught a tree and stuck the landing that's what i'm talking about the perfect start to today's video now i know a lot of you guys do want to see the career mode here within monster jam steel titans 2 so that's what we're gonna start off here today we're about to do a no bs run through the career mode <laughs> i'm starting off the video goofing around but chapter one in the world career is called jump start so that is exactly what we are doing we are jump starting our career here today in this video there's only easy medium and hard for difficulties so i feel like we're gonna send it. We're gonna play on hard, take on the top difficulty within the game. Now, I'm technically not even supposed to be riding for the Rough Crowd team yet. I'm not supposed to have any of these trucks, at least, I think. So, I feel like it's probably best to start off playing with the trucks that I'm supposed to have. So, Northern Nightmare, that's gonna be the first truck we are driving as here today. And while we are loading into this head-to-head -head event, guys, if you do enjoy the Monster Jam Steel Titans number two content, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. The support has actually been through the roof recently, and each and every little bit of support counts. So let's get into the racing. If you guys do want some more racing, some more racing action, some more goon action here in Monster Jam, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you guys have any crazy video ideas for Monster Jam Steel Titans 2, let me know in the comment section down below. I think I'm about to lose this race, not gonna lie. I think I actually just lost. Was that just practice? I think that was just practice. I think now it's time to shine. I gotta time this start, get off to a perfect start. If you guys didn't know, you can actually time the start and get a little bit of a speed boost. Now I feel like the flow around this track is actually pretty crucial. If you end up drifting a little too far wide, or going off track like that, like that costs you your race. I got eliminated right away. There is no saving me, man. Eliminated right off the bat. Oh my goodness, I am actually flying right now. You don't even really need the right stick in these events. Use that left stick and you can get locked into a groove. Look at how fast I'm going. Oh, I'm doing way better than the first attempt there. Is this practice or the race? Did I just take the W? first place baby all day i think the game is going to be a learning process especially trying to take on the hardest difficulty but hey already starting to do better managed to knock out the other northern nightmare and we are moving on to part two of this head-to-head -head event let's go off to another good start let's see if i can just get locked into a flow once again and take home this win now one thing i've noticed here within the head-to-head -head events They've actually added in a practice run at the start of the event, which is super, super handy. I know I said in one of my MJAM1 videos that in the head-to-head -head races, it's kind of tough going in blind, and it's easy to get knocked out on round one just from not knowing the track. I'm not sure if they saw my video or what, but it looks like they have added in a practice run, so the little things, you gotta appreciate the little things and the little improvements within these games. The lights are out and it is showtime here within the stadium. Blue Thunder, look at that truck, man. Oh, that truck's looking mean. I don't know if it has anything on that Northern Nightmare though. Look at those maple leaves. Oh, that truck is a vibe. Let's get into the action here. Try to time this start once again and bring home this win. Off to a perfect start. That's exactly what I needed. We can get locked in around this oval track. And these circle tracks are pretty easy. You can get locked into a groove right from the get-go. Hold it wide open and you, you actually don't even have to let off. I have not let off the gas once. And once I learned to just not touch that right stick, wow, it made these events way, way easier taking home that win. So that's a W right there. We're moving on to the next event, which is gonna be a freestyle event. So even here in the freestyle event, it throws you into practice right away. So that is pretty handy. It kind of lets you get used to the stadium, figure out a run, 
and you can actually do a little bit of a practice run before getting thrown right in to the competition so that's handy like I said the little things that can improve a game so so much and oh man I need a lot of practice I don't think this session was long enough and now it is time to shine this is where it all counts we got to try and get our multiplier up and keep it up I think that oh that is not not an ideal start by any means can I backflip off of there let's see if I can get right into like some donut action or something I did lose my multiplier there super slow start to this run but I want to see if I can turn it around and come out on top just gonna air this out see if I can maybe pick up some speed I did want to grab that coin, but losing the multiplier again. Big Aaron. That is not ideal. I think at this point, I probably need a miracle in order to come out with this win. We have a minute left. Oh, dude, I am just struggling in this freestyle event, but a minute left right now in this run. So still a decent amount of time to try and do something, but... Are my wheels like broken? I think something's broken on my truck. Something does not feel right. And man, I should have been busting out backflips this whole entire time. Definitely not front flips. I don't think front flips are the move or I just don't have that strategy down. One of the two, but yeah, backflips just seem, oh, my truck just didn't want to do anything in the air there we have five seconds left on the clock right now and one thing to note within these freestyle events is if you still have a multiplier when the time runs out it lets you go until you actually lose that multiplier so your run can technically go on forever if you can make it go on forever up to a six times multiplier Lost the multiplier, but jumped up into that lead. I'm surprised I actually came out on top because, man, I was struggling at the start of that run. I was actually struggling the whole entire run, let's be real. I don't think I had, like, one good combo going, and I still came out with that win. So now we're in the great outdoors, and we are doing a waypoint race. I want to see if I can get off to a good start and just try to keep it on four wheels. I kind of think that's ideal. You lose a lot of time when you start rolling and tumbling and trying to get back on four wheels. So I think the best thing to do, that's it. That's the whole track. As long as I keep it on four wheels, we are golden to get this win. Oh, okay. It starts us in the back a little bit. I see how it's going to do us. It wants us to get off to that good start and battle a little bit. Oh man, see, what did I say? Oh wait, what? Is it a different track now? Or am I just, am I tripping? What the heck? Maybe the practice was just showing us how to actually do a waypoint race. And now this is the real thing. And it's a completely different course. I mean, hey, that makes sense. Look at, oh, head on collisions. Left, right, and center. Can I power out of this and get going? Man, what the heck? What are we doing here? I'm supposed to be like doing donuts in there? I am so confused right now. I feel like I am going the wrong way, like the complete wrong way, but hey, you know what? Up through the next gate, and I think I'm actually in the lead. That was a little confusing, but I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain when I'm still out here taking wins. Can't complain about that. I was like borderline lost for a second in the middle of that race. Like I had no clue what was going on. We were getting in head on collisions left, right and center. Chaos in carnage in Range Rovin. So that is it. Chapter one in the bag. We come out on top over Blue Thunder. That was cool. It was quick and to the point and we can, we got a new truck, baby, let's go. We unlocked Blue Thunder for completing that championship. So now each truck that we unlock within the career mode actually has like a hidden secret feature that you can activate within the world. Am I about to get reset? Please don't reset me. Oh, I was so close. I'm trying to find the secret for Blue Thunder here, but I'm not sure which one it actually is. Is it this one? I'm not too sure. I think I'm about to get, yep, 
sent flying. Is this the secret spot? Did I finally? I think I actually found it. Yo, I would have never figured that this was an actual spot on the map in one million years. I looked down on the left side of the screen and I was like, yo, it kind of looks like there's a little hidden area over here. And yeah, man, the blue thunder truck triggers a lightning storm. Hydro storm? Power surge? I don't know, man. Electric chaos. Feel the energy with that blue thunder. It's so cool that the little things like that actually exist within the game. Finesse our way over into Monster Mutt Land. So we're gonna run through chapter number two real quick. And chapter number two is actually the, if we go back real quick, the getting schooled chapter. I think that this chapter is the chapter where you would actually unlock the higher education inverse truck. Or maybe I'm gonna unlock this truck. It's another bus looking vehicle. I think I have this truck because of a DLC pack within the game. It's called the inverse DLC pack. And this truck comes as part of that pack. Let's go. Destruction? Do I just gotta destroy stuff here on this course? I wonder if this vehicle actually handles any different than the other trucks. I feel like the other trucks are obviously a lot smaller in body size, so this truck feels like a boat. It feels like it's really tough to handle, and I wonder if we're actually at a little bit of a disadvantage because we're running the school bus. All right, I'm in eighth place right now, so with 25 seconds left, I gotta try to build up that multiplier and get a decent run in the bag. I feel like there is gonna be somewhat of a strategy to this mode. Like, I don't think just focusing on destruction is key. I think I do need to maybe carry some speed and try and throw in some big air and and all sorts of things. Variety is key, am I right? Or maybe not, I mean, maybe I actually am just supposed to destroy things the whole entire time. That's tough, the destruction event is definitely tricky. I almost wanna give that one another go just because how bad I actually performed. I might use a little bit of a different strategy here, start off by just focusing on destroying some stuff, swing out wide here. See if I can actually keep my multiplier alive. See, I already lost it. I don't think getting airtime even counts towards your score. You're really just supposed to focus on destruction. And I think the key is to find a way to cause the most destruction possible while keeping that multiplier alive. I bet you you could get up to like a 100 times multiplier if you keep the multiplier alive the whole entire time. See, even for that donut, we, we get no points. We actually get no points unless we're destroying things. I guess that's why it's called the destruction event type, am I right? There's one purpose for us out here and that is to truly just cause destruction the whole entire time. It's gonna be my multiplier down the drain and I did even worse. I wonder if speed is key. If I just keep my speed alive the whole entire time while destroying stuff, keep that flow alive, try to keep my momentum rolling and just focus on actually keeping my multiplier steady the whole entire event. That might be key. See, if I destroy everything here, it's gonna be tough to keep that multiplier alive. I'm up to like 81. Oh, man, look at me go. Bounce, get these blimps. We're almost into the hundreds. Look at that right there. Into third place. So it's all about getting that multiplier and keeping that multiplier here in the destruction events. All part of the learning process. Clearly that first attempt went terrible. It was possibly the worst you could do well i got last it was the worst you could do in these events but like third place right now i'm i'm pretty happy with that so the two wheel events here within monster jam steel titans are actually pretty cool basically you're going for the biggest combo possible while throwing a two wheel trick into the air whether it's a stoppy up on two wheels on your side. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get higher education in 
to that two wheel cyclone something like that whatever your combo is it needs to include some form of two wheel trick i think the easiest way to do that is by throwing in like a bicycle or a wheelie of some sort and of course trying to string that together with like a back flip or a front flip and some big air now if you don't actually do a two wheel trick within your combo it doesn't even count it as a combo so you need that two wheeled trick hence the name of the event i've always struggled at these events so i think as long as i don't get last i will be happy i think that's what i can aim for man this truck feels like a boat maybe i didn't choose the best truck for this event what should i even try to do get a donut in there with a cyclone and just try to keep the combo alive like <laughs> That was a pretty bad attempt at a two-wheel combo, but we're still going. Throw that bicycle in and let's rock with this combo. Get big air off of that jump. Let's see if I can bust out a backflip there. I'm locked on two wheels right now. And it thinks I'm actually in a wheelie. That might be the moneymaker move right there. Up into first, kind of finesse the system. I remember there was something like that in the first game as well. You could kind of get locked in a wheelie up against something and it would just count your score for days. So man, that might be the strategy here in Monster Jam Steel Titans 2 as well. We're going to crush more circuit. So I feel like this is gonna be a circuit race around the free roam area that we've been exploring. We're gonna keep the higher education inverse truck rolling. It seems to be working for us, so we might as well keep on trucking on. So time for the circuit race. Let's go get off to that good start. I think it's kind of up to us to pay attention to where we have to go looking at our map i believe we're just supposed to actually figure out the track oh my goodness what is going on down through here can i just survive this event this is absolute chaos get back on four wheels and let's go i think i just follow the other trucks for now i think that might oh i'm flipping i'm still on four wheels i definitely thought that wall that barrier was about to send me for a wild ride, but man, brutal start to this event. Now that I know the track, I have like a lap and a half to try my best to make up some time on these guys. I really think me rolling my truck right off the bat on that first lap definitely costed me way too much time, but the race is never over until it is over. Oh man rubbing is racing but it definitely cost me way too much time passes are crucial i really think making clean passes and not oh my man chaos right there what just happened when it comes down to it racing in this game really really relies on you just riding a clean race driving a clean race avoiding the chaos and keeping it on four wheels the whole entire time I, I got first man i thought i got second i knew i made a bunch of passes but i did not think i got up into first place so i got second overall in the point standings i believe megalodon took the win and we actually unlocked the regular version of the higher education bus so the inverse version the version that i was driving all episode long it's actually part of the dlc pack and the regular old school bus is part of the actual game and i want to say that this version of higher education there we go it is able to unlock this easter egg here and you can hit the bus jump <laughs> oh man tumbling losing half of our body that is it guys that has been my first look at monster jam steel titans number two career mode that was a blast i had a ton of fun and i think it is gonna be a gnarly learning process trying to figure out how to perfect my skills within this game so if you guys enjoyed 
All the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Click that subscribe button and drop any comments down below. If you guys want to check out the Once Company, it stands for Oppose Nothing, Conquer Everything, Take On Everything Life Throws At You, and Crush Those Goals. It's a brand I'm trying to start. We have a bunch of merch up over on the website as well as Goon Army merch. So if you guys want to get some swag, get your winter fit on fleek, go check out the merch oncecompany.com. The link is down below and you guys can use code GOONARMY for 30% off. All of my Instagram links and everything are down below. If you guys do want to toss me a follow, I try my best to interact with each and every one of you guys over there on social media. And that's it. That is it for the career mode chaos. Peace out.